AMD shares closing in the red today after climbing in anticipation of the company's advancing AI event today. That's where CEO Lisa Su unveiled a new AI chip, the MI325X. And joining us now, fresh off the stage in San Francisco, is Lisa Su, AMD chair and CEO, along with our own Christina Parts and Evelyn. Christina. Thank you, John. I have to start actually by saying congratulations. Ten years as CEO running this company. It's uh, no small feat, that's for sure. But I want to get straight into cost. Often within the research world, you have a lot of, I guess, analyst reports that say AMD is a cheaper alternative. And I know on stage you talked about the total cost of ownership being lowered with this latest AI chip. But what does that actually mean? Does that mean that your chips are cheaper or they're cheaper if you buy a bunch of different chips from AMD? How does it work? Yeah, so first of all, Christina, thank you for being here. John, great to be um, on the program today. This was a big day for us. We launched um, a ton of new products across our um, our Epic, you know, fifth generation Epic, um, our new AI chip, MI325. We talked about our roadmap going forward, uh, which we're accelerating. We talked about some new networking solutions. Uh, we talked about AI PCs, and we had like a ton of partners on stage. So it's been a fantastic day. You know, look, when you look at what's happening in data centers today, um, Christina, we want to help our customers and the industry really take advantage of new technology. And the beauty of new technology is you can actually take you know, what was, let's call it a legacy data center and do that same work for um, you know, much lower total cost of ownership. So back to your question about you know, costs and, and what, it, what it is. Uh, the new technology is much more power efficient, has more performance, uh, gives you uh, just a tremendous amount of capability. And you know, one of the metrics that we talked about today is for our newest generation of um, server processors, our Turin generation, we actually can take seven legacy servers mm -hmm. and replace them with one new fifth generation Epic server. So that's just tremendous total cost of ownership. Now, what do we want to do at AMD? What we want to do is provide value to our customers. So it is about more performance, it is about you know, better performance per dollar, it's about reducing their footprint and giving them more computing for their applications. Which is a perfect segue to talk about the MI325X, which you're comparing to the H200 for NVIDIA, which has been on the market for three years. So is it, are you saying that there's just a, a, such a large market for that type of chip, or is it this constant game of catch up with competitors? Well, the best way to say it is, uh, first of all, the market is moving very, very quickly. You know, if I just say, you know, our MI300, uh, which has been in the market now just um, a little bit less than a year, was competing against the H100, which was the previous generation. Mm -hmm. um, it's done phenomenally well, and we've seen um, tremendous customer adoption. We're very excited to have you know, Microsoft and Meta and Oracle on stage today. We had a number of AI developers talking about just how much performance they're getting on MI300. Uh, we're now launching MI325, which compares very well to H200. Actually, um, if you think about some of the most important inferencing workloads, we're going to see you know, 20 to 40 percent more performance on our new chip. And it's not just you know it's not just what we're doing today, but we're really excited also about our next generation, our MI350 series, and, and what's going on and after that. That's a that. few years out. You know, MI350 series is next year. Okay. It's in uh, it's second half uh, 2025, and going to uh, MI400 in 2026. So. Uh, we are accelerating the pace of innovation. It feels um, really good to kind of see all of this stuff uh, co you know, come together. And the most important thing is developers love developing um, on our um, accelerators. And, and that's what we're really focused on.